The more you understand about your condition and treatment, the more you become a partner in your own health care. This leads to better overall health and outcomes. Preparing for your spinal cord stimulator trial. You will need to arrive at least one hour before your scheduled procedure. You can eat normally. Food will not interfere with your SCS trial. But remember to keep it on the light side as you will be lying on your stomach for the procedure. You can continue your medications as directed unless otherwise instructed. If you were prescribed an oral antibiotic, you'll want to take it with a light breakfast the morning of your trial. Don't plan any strenuous activity the day of your procedure. Shower using antibacterial soap the day before and day of your trial. Don't use lotions, creams, or gels. If you have a continuous glucose monitor, remove it before your procedure as the x-ray could interfere with your readings. Wear loose-fitting clothing with an elastic waistband. If you become ill or are on an antibiotic, call our office to reschedule. Bring someone with you who can remain on campus to drive you home. The length of the procedure is approximately 45 minutes. It is beneficial if your driver is someone who can join you to hear the information about the stimulator from the SCS representative. Quick review, eat lightly, take medications, shower with antibacterial soap. Wear loose fitting clothing, avoid vaccinations, and reschedule if you're ill. Arrive one hour prior to your scheduled appointment and bring a driver. What to expect following your spinal cord stimulator trial. You'll spend about 20 minutes in the recovery room reviewing post-procedure instructions with the SCS representative prior to discharging. You may require a longer stay in recovery if additional monitoring is needed. You may experience warmth, numbness, tingling, heaviness at the procedure site for up to six hours. Once the anesthetic wears off, you may experience pain at the procedure site. You also may see a small amount of blood at the procedure site and that is normal. If you see blood oozing from the dressing, proceed to the neuroscience group office immediately within business hours or to the nearest emergency room. You will not be able to drive or operate heavy machinery until eight hours after your procedure. You will not be able to shower while the temporary stimulator is in place, sponge bath only. Don't get the stimulator or dressing wet. The dressing needs to remain intact. If the dressing becomes loose, do not remove any loose dressing or tape. Apply tape over the loose area to secure it down. You will need to refrain from strenuous activity and heavy lifting during the length of the whole trial. You may return to work the following day if sedentary or light duty. Avoid heavy lifting, twisting, or repetitive bending. Discontinue physical therapy and or chiropractic care during the trial period. If you have any questions, we're here to help. Call our clinic. We look forward to caring for you.